I love no mamas, hey, me, you never heard of no mamas? Heard of me in the morning. You gonna lick my face, you gonna get up there, you gonna lick my flavors in my balls, sir. <laughs> <laughs> What's chopping, Revere? He's Mike. And he's a creature from the bygone era. We saw Kong. Yes, we did. Kong. Skull Island. It was the one with the big monkey in it. Tom Hilton. He's he's charming as fuck. He's handsome. He is quite cute. If you had to pick between Tom Hiddleston and... Samuel L. Jackson. Who would you rather fuck? Tom Hiddleston. Okay. Tom Hiddleston, Samuel L. Jackson, and Chris Hemsworth. Fuck one, marry one, kill one. Go. Kill. Um. Jackson. Racist. And then I do. See that? He's fucking racist. He kills the black guy. I'd marry Hemsworth. And I'd do him. I, I don't want to play this anymore. You're what, racist. What would you be? Well, I would obviously marry Jackson just That's because why. I feel like That's we would why. have the most connection. I'm just shallow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin, what do you think going in? Oh, well, let's talk about Kong. Let's talk about Kong, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the monsters in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think going in? I, uh... I really was hoping for uh, not another fucking Peter Jackson. Like, I love the Peter Jackson film. I really do. Mm -hmm. um, but I really wanted this to be something different and stand up on its own. And it did. It fucking delivers. Like, if you're looking for a great <laughs> monster fucking bashing some other monsters film, that's what this is. Fuck the characters because they don't develop them well. At all. I mean, that, I don't really think that's the point of this. I no, think the I agree. Point is here's a King Kong movie, and he's the star of the show. Yeah, like you see all these people saying like, "Oh, the characters aren't fucking developed." That's kind of the fucking point. Kong's the main character of this movie, and he's not. He's not even on screen for like. He's probably on screen a third of the time compared to everyone else, and he's still the fucking main character. If, if they called this movie, like, Kong Rebirth, it would have been a perfect title. Because it was, like, a really good rebirth of the character and a launch of this new yeah. joint cinematic universe. I never thought of it like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I mean, they didn't call it that, but... Or, uh, King Kong Lives. Hire me, guys. Like, the sequel to, uh, the Jeff Bridges of King Kong, where he was all like, King Kong gonna go to the Twin Towers! <laughs> what? <laughs> you never remember that? No! What you uh? What you think about the movie? I thought it was great. It was so weird because going in, I heard the same, uh, the character of the shit. That it was what yeah. I heard. Oddly enough, was not enough Kong and not strongly enough character development. You heard not enough Kong. I heard not enough Kong. That was in. not a fucking issue. So going in, I'm like, uh oh, this is gonna be a pretty. Kong Kong's in the first five Kong. minutes of the movie. Exactly. You can call that a spoiler if you want. If you do, fuck off. But <laughs> Kong's in the first five minutes. I mean, like, he's, he's, he's all over this place. Yeah. He is the main character. It was... I, I don't know if people... I don't it's know everybody else reacting to Kong. Like, Samuel L. Jackson is, I guess, the villain. And it's just him reacting to Kong. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Hello. So Jordan Bob Roberts... Vogg. It was like V-O-G-T, right? Vogg. I don't know. Vogg to Roberts was the director. What'd you think? Um, he did Kings of Summer, and mm -hmm. that was that was an excellent film. But uh, this one definitely had some issues. Like, cinematography-wise, the guy's a genius. Because there's some shots in those this shots movie are that are money. But you just can't write a fucking script for a monster movie. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about monster movies, though. They can kind of be lacking in script. I agree. I don't I don't give... Like, I'm an old Toho fan. Like, I don't give a fuck if 
Aaron Taylor Johnson has to follow Godzilla around the entire planet. Mm-hmm. I don't care about that. So I get to see Godzilla. Right. That's all I'm going to care about. I got to see Kong. He was front and center of this fucking movie. He was busting fucking skull crawlers. It's great. No, it was great. Yeah. The, the, the biggest issue for me was the sun. <laughs> we have been arguing about this for the past fucking since we saw it. It doesn't make any sense why you're so hung up on this. Because it's so dumb. It's fucking movie logic. What's funny is this isn't even a spoiler, so I don't mind telling anyone okay. about it. So the, mo- the the in the movie, the island is surrounded by a perpetual storm. And his fucking problem is that that money shot in the trailer of Kong standing up against the horizon doesn't make any sense because the island is surrounded by that storm. How is the sun going to break through? If this is surrounded the by the eye of the storm! Or it fucking settles down. Hence the fact that they were like, oh, we gotta escape the island fucking on that side. You see what I gotta work with? This, this, but no, let me get a second with them. Do you, do you see what I have to deal with? I need help. Help me. You're a moron. He's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if that's my biggest issue that this film is, I got no, I got yeah, no issues. I that's really I can't. I can't believe people are sitting there saying, "Oh, like the script is so fucking weak." Like, oh, the humor didn't hit. The humor killed it, dude. Rid- um, John C. R- okay, no, no. I must have Ridley. Oh. I can see what they're saying about the other characters for the humor not hitting, but everything John C. Riley said was gold. Yeah, no, that stuck. That was fine. That was that was literally like just fucking. Yeah, I get why he's saying this shit. That's fucking funny. We also, man got, you also got to think about that guy and this, that character. Is. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Tell me. Why, at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, do they sit there... It, it, turn back now. If they, Do they sit there and focus in on that character story? Focus that's in on really That's not really a spoiler. End. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, that's like... Yeah. But... Who cares? Maybe to give you that warm, fuzzy feeling. But that's not even like... Like, yeah, everybody's that's... sitting there at the end of the theater, sitting there going, where's that end credit scene? We want to see how this connects to Godzilla. And it's just... Yeah, I mean, it, it, watch the end credit scene. But it's... Well, that, the, the scene you're talking about with him returning to his family, it was sad, don't get me wrong. It was very sad. Why was it sad? It was supposed to be a happy moment. because he. Well, his... it, was, it wasn't sad in the sense of, like, sad. It was, like, a sad, happy moment. Did you like Kong? I like Kong. You like Kong? Did you like the skull crawlers? Those were cool. Did you like Brie Larson? Yeah. Did you like Hiddleston? I don't know where you're getting at with this. Did you like, like Hiddleston? I'm interrogated. Did you like Hiddleston? Yeah. Did you like Jackson? Yeah. You like Jackson? He was fine. He was a fucking dick in the entire movie. I mean, he served his purpose as the heel. I mean, as the villain. I say heel. <laughs> fucking wrestling. I'm like not that. doing wrestling. I know. As I a need, villain. I need my phone. I mean, they needed... Someone to kind of move the story along, and that's, that's he served his purpose. Yeah. I mean, did you not like Jackson? No. You didn't like him. His whole purpose for wanting to kill Kong made no sense. They were dropping bombs in his place. Well, the way and he's staring him down in that one scene, and he's just like, Well, the way I interpreted it, I'll get it out. The way I, the way I, the way I interpreted. The way I interpreted Samuel Jackson's uh, relationship with Kong was very Moby Dick. That's his white yeah, whale. And, uh, yeah. That's his white whale. So that's why that's where I kind of let it slide of his obsession that got out of hand. I give it. Yeah. If you had to read this movie, what would you give it? Dude, go check this out. Go check it out in theaters. It's it's the launching point of the new. You, you give it a, a of the new mon- of the new monster movie universe. Give it, take it a shot. Yeah, just for the, sh- the like. I would definitely say check this movie out in theaters, especially being able to see some of the shots they made on the big screen. How sick was that shot? I don't think having it on your flat screen would be helicopters. Justice. Oh, incredible! And the score, dude. We didn't even talk about the music in this fucking thing. It was incredible. It's literally just, dude. I see a man on the moon arising. Yeah. Dude, dude, and it's just get in with my woman, cut she cutting out me with my life, do do do, like that. It was just like that. Just like that. Alrighty. As always, uh, he's Mike. <laughs> and he's a bygone era. 
keep it tight.